There can be no forgiveness for those people that perpetrated the false contracts, for those people that created the mortgages, the death crypts, those people that created the debts, which is sin, those people that fraudulently made their conveyance to the letterbox, for those people that made false claims, for those people that have made false witnesses upon documents and upon your fellow man, there can be no forgiveness. And I am saying for the second time, for those people that perpetrated the death pledge, the mortgages, and all of those things that hold mankind in slavery, the television people, the newspapers, the governments, they will not be forgiven because I, as the grantor, as the citizens of this planet, who are the grantors for the Vatican, for the newspapers, and all of those governments, because it is by consent, and you hoodwinked, you hoodwinked all the nations, all the people in those nations into giving you consent by means of fraud. And therefore you can never, never have forgiveness since we are the grantors and you have not come forward for any forgiveness. So in the most congruent language, you will explain your sins. You will explain why you created those death pledges. You will explain why, why you created those fraudulent federal loans, student loans. You will come forward in the most congruent fashion possible and you will ask forgiveness. And only when you have asked forgiveness can you be even granted the permission for forgiveness. You have not asked and therefore you don't get it. All those people that have stolen copyright, all those people that have infiltrated good, honest men and women that work hard and diligently to bring knowledge and to bring light and solutions of this world, you are not forgiven for the sins, for the trespasses and all of those people that participated in the fraud. They do not have forgiveness. You will not get away by using this 90-day rule, calling it the corona effect and so-called other pernicious names. You will not be able to use that time because that time is only for honorable people, duty-bound people, and you are not honorable and you have no duties to perform. All of your contracts, the IRS, the BBC, the charters, and all of those nonsense that has been written in Babel will not be forgiven and you will not be able to walk the population. All my court systems and all 195 courts, federal postal court stations all over the world, you will not be forgiven because you have not asked for forgiveness. You must confess. You must confess why you created those mortgages, why you must confess the reasons behind it. And just as time memorial dictates, when you withhold information, you are violating contract rules. When you don't tell the whole truth, which means all of the facts that you are in possession of, you have violated contract. In fact, you have violated contract so many times you have no standing. You operate out of a system called a license and a license is permission to break the law of which without would be breaking the law itself. You think Vatican, you can release such licenses, force people into getting licenses to say that they are breaking the law. You think you can give monsters licenses and you think you can control them. The monsters will control you and they will cannibalize on you. So Vatican City and all of those city states all around the world, you will be congruent with the nations. You will ask for forgiveness and no such forgiveness from my court systems or the general public is given because you have violated and violated and violated for the court systems of this planet. You have asked the people that go into the court systems to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The court systems, you are under oath to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And what is the truth? The truth is that you have to speak from your conscience. And your conscience means by passe alone that it is with science and therefore it is a fact and you must speak the facts as the facts, the whole facts and not withhold any information. 
for the general public that may not understand these words, that are not familiar because this type of knowledge has been withheld from them. You are in a period where your governments are trying to walk you into asking forgiveness from you. You are the grantor. In that trust position, you are the grantor. You granted them unwittingly because you are hoodwinked. Those governments are now completely suspended. The powers, which are known as bureaucrats, you can look up the word, it's in the comments box, which means it sits above the governments and they do not answer to the governments. For those bureaucrats, you are under command to perform those duties that are essential for mankind. And I mean mankind, and I say it for the third time, for mankind, and you will continue doing so until a superior knowledge, a superior system that is open, replaces your contracts as the majority shareholders or as part of a stakeholder. Now you know that I am a stakeholder and I'm a major stakeholder and I control these things and so do the other judges which have all been trained to become autonomous. So if something happens to me, God forbid of course, or the creator, there is enough information and enough people out there because this is not about me. It is about correcting the ills of this world which were engineered and created by the same people that create the mortgages, created by those same people that contaminate the airways, the newspapers, and all of those prints which are under now the oath of a journalist. That same oath is to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. That is why they are called journalists and correspondents and not reporters because that's a person that ports nothing. They only give you opinions upon other people's opinion. All those reporters that put pen to paper, that put print to paper, you are under that oath. And if you violate that oath, no forgiveness will be forgiven. Under the three-day rescissions act, as in the Lord rose on the third day, the Jesus rose on the third day, the sun rises on the north on the third day at its highest point. All of these things are so very obvious. The rescissions act is very clear. You will not be able to touch the rescissions act any more than you can touch the 90-day rule because that is only for men and women that stand in honor. And since you have violated contract, since you have not told the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, you have violated. You cannot hide in boxes. You cannot hide in undefined words. You will not be forgiven for such perpetrations. For those who call themselves the principalities, like for example, Prince Charles, your trust position is null and void. For the general public that is not familiar with these words like principalities, when you apply for that so-called mortgage, you have what is known as a principle. They give you a principle, which means the principality, principality as in the principle, is now giving you permission to give you that debt pledge. You must reverse this role because you are the grantor. They cannot walk away from fraud because fraud has no statue of limitation. And in the most passionate voice and in the most stand fast nature that I can possibly conjure up, I am letting you know, I am telling this whole world, unless you come forward and speak the words that is, can be understood by all the human beings on this planet, the mankind, and I don't care what you think human is, it is mankind and you will come forward congruently and you will ask for forgiveness congruently. Until then, no forgiveness will be granted. When I served Vatican City and its minions, you brought them in and you pretended to shake hands with them and withdrawing it. It is a cartoon. It is comical. The whole world can see how comical these things are and your minions are. I am letting you know. You have to come to me for forgiveness and since you have not done so, you cannot be granted it because one has to confess and you have not confessed. 
You think I do not know what the word confessor means and how you try to reverse it like processor? Well, I'm reversing these things. You do not have that standing. For the citizens of this planet that have been fraudulently conveyed with mortgages and debt that keep mankind in slavery, you cannot forgive their sins. You cannot forgive their trespasses because you can only forgive somebody that has come forward for forgiveness and since they have not confessed it they cannot give it and the citizens of this world do not give it the federal court judges do not give it my federal postal stations do not give it you have to come forward if need be i will summons you until then no forgiveness since this is your sin it is on your hands and you cannot wash your hands from it because I have just put every human being on this planet on a geometric level playing field where they cannot be disabled. To disable a man or a woman is a crime and that crime will not be forgiven until you come forward. For the court systems, you will not be able to hide within the star chambers, within that private zone because I understand and I know how to operate the private-public partnership. You cannot hide in your secret societies. I can bring you out by initiating those contracts any time that I want. So the clerks of the court that run the courtrooms, you are not immune. Your immunity, your foreign immunity, is taken away because you have not told the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Nobody and I mean nobody, is immune from criminal activities. No court systems, no governments, no presidents can ever perform any immunity, whether it's foreign immunity or whether it's judicial immunity or whether it's parliamentary discretion. All of that is null and void. I am putting you and every single human being, every single mankind species on a geometric level playing field and it is a level playing field. The people that perform those naval operations, I thank you for looking after me from the day that I was born to this particular point and you have my permission to continue protecting me, safeguarding me. For the Air Force that control and protect as well as police and look after the airways that I breathe internally and externally. I thank you for doing that all my life. And please, please continue doing so for my judges as well as all those people that are factual, all of those people that are right, all of those people that have proper contracts in place. You are thanked for looking after us for the armies of this world, for the territorial armies of this world that look after my physical body upon the weight of this earth. Thank you very much for safeguarding me. Thank you very much for looking after the earth. And please, please do continue doing that wonderful job. I hope that I have made it very clear. You are doing a wonderful job. As a postmaster, as well as all those people that I have trained, Continue looking after them and they are making themselves available. They are making themselves known throughout the world. For those people that have come and tried to disrupt my organization and the efforts that I have made and David Wayne Miller has made and for those people that did such horrid things, tried to infiltrate, tried to destroy his heart, I know the systems of the cunning warrior. You attacked his heart. No forgiveness will be forgiven. And as a result, you will answer and you will be summonsed in. Have no mistake, forgiveness can only be given when you ask for it. And since your arrogance, since your arrogance do not allow you to do that, you are doomed for what you have done. For the people that have infiltrated and tried to disrupt my organization and trying to bring these facts to the world, you have not been forgiven. You cannot and you will not ever be able to pick up a pen because you have violated contract rule. You have destroyed the very fabric that binds human beings. Just as the army will never tolerate or the navy or any one of those armed forces will ever tolerate 
the interference of communications amongst one group to another. It is the same here. You cannot ask forgiveness because you have not asked for it. To the local police station, and I live in a place called Forest Gate, which is in East London. To that police station, I thank you so very much for looking after me. Thank you very much for safeguarding my position. And thank you very much for looking after me by parking those police cars outside of my door to protect me. I thank you very much for that. I am aware that you are on a bound and I know that you are constables and that the commanders of your stations will do the honourable things. At this point, your parliament, your senates, your governments have been disqualified. They have been disqualified because they have used fraudulent conveyance of language. You know what the consequences are when somebody interferes with communications. It is by the army unforgivable and they treat it as unforgivable as it is with the Air Force, as it is with the Navy. These corporations, these governments, these Vatican cities and the city-states exist because you are the grantors. And yes, I'm aware that you was hoodwinked into being the grantor. But of course, if you are hoodwinked, that contract is null and void. That agreement is null and void. I hope this knowledge empowers you. You have to understand the power of what I am saying to you. When trust law has been violated, the grantor cannot give forgiveness because forgiveness can only be given if the person committing the death pledge, the sins, confess their sins. And since they have not done so in their most congruent way, you cannot be in a position to forgive. For those people that want to end their mortgages, you have my permission to download this video. And if you can't, then email me. And all you have to do is upload it onto your YouTube channel. Make sure that YouTube account is in your birth name rather than a pseudoname, a pen name, a handle, or any one of these fictitious ways of going about one's business. Do business as men and women stand in honor. And once you have uploaded that video, you have automatically removed your consent. You have automatically not forgiven their sins because they have not confessed their sins.